Yo, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. The Patriots in the town today. This gameplay is going to cover, you know, the cover four and nickel blitz two defenses, quote unquote. The safe defense, the meta defense, the defense that I hate more than anything. I don't, it's not like I hate, dislike the defense, I just hate when everybody does it. It's just everybody does the same thing. You get online and they get up on defense and you see them start doing the setup and you just start shaking your head like, man. Do you guys want to learn anything else? Look at it, there it goes. What do you think this is? What does it look like? <laughs> I mean, jeez. Hey, the game just starts and you already said, you don't even know what I'm, what I'm coming out in, you're trying to really look. I mean, it's the same thing, essentially. It's the same thing as the Nickel Blitz too. It's just done out of a different uh, formation. But it's the same thing. Same thing. You're rushing five from one side. And you just keep doing it over and over again until somebody gets to, but he's doing it right now, but he's going to realize pretty fast that that's, that blister is not, never going to get to me. Like, he's, like if you, you know, he's never going to get to me. It's just, it's just annoying. So right now, that's what he's going to be calling to beat the crap out of it. And then he's going to realize, yeah, that's not going to work. So he's going to come out of it and start playing a different variation of cover four. This right here, cover four, because he, he got tired of getting beat up over there. See, so he beat cover four still. So, the thing is, he's not really playing defense. He's doing setups. That's what he's doing. He's not playing me. He's not playing the way I'm playing. He's just doing a setup. He'll just come out there, set up the defense, and basically let it run an automatic, and then that's it. Those are the kind of Madden players that piss me off. And, and, and it annoys me that majority of the Madden community, that's really all they do. They're not really playing defense, they're just playing setups. Alright, give me a setup. Let me learn a setup. And no matter what you're doing on offense, they'll just call the setup against whatever you're doing on offense. Just hope it works. But not understanding, like, why a defense might play so angry. Why you might want to play a cover three? Why you might want to play a cover two? Why you might want to use a cover four? Why you might want to use a hybrid man zone defense? Like, why would you want to do that? Like, why are you calling this? Like, what am I doing on offense that's making you call this? That you think is going to really stop it? You get what I mean? Like, you're not stopping anything. Not calling this. Like, you don't, you're not even accustomed to what it is that I do yet. <laughs> but, you know, just come down here, show blitz, put this guy down there, and call the day. I just called comebacks on him last last play, right? You figured, all right, you know, this guy's pretty good with the comeback. And you just call another comeback against it again. And use the tight end underneath to pull that defender down so he can get all open. On his cover four. You know, it's just... And to me, it's like when I'm seeing this, it's like routine for me too, because I, I already know what's going to be open. I just have to just make sure my line is corrected correctly. And then I'll just snap the ball and just sit back and just wait for the guy to come up. And for like people, you know, this is where the game becomes like kind of boring. Where you're just like, like I, I can tell you who's going to be open before I even snap the ball like this right here. Like I know that guy's going to be open because he's still stuck in his cover four. So like, you know, I think piggybacking from my last video when I was saying I show my videos because I'm showing you how I'm problem solving. And a lot of reason why these plays that I'm running right now, why they work, is because I understand what defense my opponent is in, so I'm calling plays to it. I'm not just, like him, he's not just, he's calling an offense like right now that has a setup with the, with the number 85 running the deep post. It's just that my cornerback didn't follow correctly and he beats the guy on, on, on quarters. But see, I understand why that happened, right? Like I can tell you why that happened. So next time, I'm not going to call that defense. I'm not going to come out and play that same thing again and just keep, like, hoping it works. Like, I know what the breakdown was. So when I come on offense, when I come on defense next time, I'll call a different defense because I'm trying to eliminate something that I just saw. As opposed to this. He just keeps calling the same thing over and over again. <laughs> like, it's in his nickel. He's, I mean, it's in his cover two blitz still. There you go. Like, dude, it's not going to work. And look at the right side of the field. Look at O. Look at O. Look at O. What do you think is going to happen? You see what I mean when I say he puts his defense on rails? Like, look at O. Look at the right side of the field. <laughs> Jeez. So I give him back his own celebration.
And then just imagine if you lose to someone like this. You know, how ma you know, like mad you're gonna be. Like those, these kind of games. Like, oh my god, it gets under my skin when I lose them. I just like, oh, this guy's terrible, and he's running the same defense here again. He's trying to get 84 to go down deep. Same play, same play, <laughs> same exact play. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, it's so terrible, terrible. And of course, it's always going to be a you know it's going to be a bailout. Of course, it always is. Intentional grounding. I'll sh I'll show you the bailout. Because right now he's digging himself in the same hole. He's calling the same play over and over again. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to just I'm sending a, a blitz here. It's like a man blitz. I just put the, put the guy in the zone to help me a little bit. Lock it down. And then here's the bailout. Here's, here's the bailout. Current defense, no reaction. He just threw the ball right into my man, right there. I should have accepted it, so he just jumped over his head. So that's, that's the bailout. And just like his his defense, his offense is the same way. It's on rails. Set up the blockers, and then send those guys, send the guy out. Yep. Same old, same old. <sighs> yeah, no. Quite boring. It is what it is, man. Got no huddle. The reason why I don't want to switch to cover two is because of that deep post in the middle. I don't think, you know, my, I don't know. I don't think some things going to be able to handle it. Essentially what happened here. See the guy in the middle, the safety? He just doesn't follow him and he throws it over there. So, I mean, in real life, I already know that wouldn't happen because the safety would know if you, that's the only guy back there, maybe I should play man on him. I should, fo I should follow him, possibly. Not let him cross my face and then, you know, hit that ball deep. So he's up. You know, he just tied the game. Let's see if I can score before halftime. There he goes again, cover four. You can imagine like he beats people playing like this, like literally, like he will win games. I can see it because it doesn't look like he does anything else to me. It seems like this is the only thing he knows. And I'm pretty sure he wins a lot of games doing this. Like what? It's like it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense, man. Or draw up the middle of it. It usually just plays that I'm showing you like can easily be covered for just based on how I'm running them. It's like you know, just easy stuff. Guy didn't attack, we didn't put a block over, that's another big game again. Same play. I'm trying to run the time down here too. Because I think he gets the ball out the half. But yeah, I got it first, so. You guys, you guys can claw flats, so they cover this play pretty well. Oh, you would have been wide open. Maybe he has some claw flats, so I had to dump it underneath. I'll run for the first down. Because you know he's coming out and coming for again, so. I'm trying to run a screen to my running back. Let's see who I, who I missed. Somebody didn't block somebody. Or maybe somebody got up too far. Let's see what happened. Yeah. Somebody didn't block somebody. Put the score a touchdown. But take the field goal nonetheless. I already know what I'm going to get in the third quarter. It's the same old routine on offense. There we go. Close formation. Oh, we're still in the second half. I'm oh, second quarter still. All right. Same old, same old. I 
I really wonder like how like what they're gonna change in Madden 20. Because I mean they did el if you th I mean think about it, they did eliminate a lot of the crap in 18 that you could do in 18 that you can't do this year. Because if you remember last year, picked it off. If you remember last year, I think the problem last year was um what was it? What's the main problem last year? Remember like the uh, close formation was the problem. Remember you couldn't really stop uh corner routes. Remember that? But it's not viable this year. I mean, you can still sort of kind of like this guy right here. You can still kind of run close, but it's not infecting the medical community like it did last year. Last year, this is all the offense you saw. A lot of all my videos last year, you come on offense, this is all you saw. This was right here it was close formation and bunch because there was no quarters that can save it. But I don't know. I think the this patch ruined quarters. I think because now you're my um the safeties the no, the, the safeties did not did not pull up to the number two wide receivers like they do on the post routes. They leave them like they saw that first touchdown. That's happened to me a number of times since new patch. That didn't happen last patch. And this game was right after the patch that I, that I played this game and that happened. I was like, okay, see that's new because I usually play quarters to help me out with a bunch. That's usually what I do. I'm not saying it's gonna stop anything, but it makes it it complicates it for them. So I'm just trying to move my guys in because it seems like they got beat up last time really bad. So I'm trying to move them to areas where they're supposed to be so they can get to their man effectively and stop those deep posts that keeps killing them. You know, I have to still play it because he's still in this formation. You know, he doesn't want to get out of it. So I was going to call time on trying to keep my hands up. I'm going to give him time to throw the ball, but it's not going to be anybody deep. So all these drags underneath is going to be taken away. And you really can't really throw anything deep. If you try to throw deep, you're going to get, give me those! So that's what's going to happen. You know, just let them run their plays and let them get in the red zone, and then you shut it down the red zone. And you take all the underneath routes, and when you force them to throw into your coverage, and you really beat them up. Let's try to use common sense against it. Since, like I said, he's not really thinking. And I'll just use that to my advantage. If you're not gonna think to play somebody, then I, I'll just play to what it is I think I see you doing. So I'm not gonna stop it apparently. So come into the red zone and we stop it in the red zone. We just take one of those elements of that play away. So in red zone, I take away all the cloud routes, and I'll give them all the underneath drag routes. And if he tries to force anything in the back of the end zone, he can intercept it. Right next to playing cover four. And that's the bad thing about playing cover four out here is you don't have enough time because you're only rushing three. And then you can play make all day because there's nobody's really rushing you. Which is what I'm doing right now. Because it's playing cover four and, and cloud coverages, so the deep process is taken away. But all this underneath drags I have on the field, once they get to their stopping position, I just play make them to the left or right. And the way he was calling his offense too, um, if I score here a touchdown, he, he'll, he'll be done. Because you see how long it took him to get upfield last time, last drive, and he didn't score. Now just imagine trying to go into that in the fourth quarter if you're going to keep running that same play over and over again. Yeah, you're going to take the whole entire fourth quarter to score. So I don't see him sticking around. Just, you know, if I score right here, if I score a touchdown, I don't, I don't see him sticking around. Because they want to run on rails, man. They don't want to think. They don't want to think. Like, you should be out here counting my plays. Like, right, how many plays does he call out his formation? Like, what are his tendencies? And then play to those tendencies, not just come out here and cover four and then show blitz and then that's it. That's your, that's your entire game plan. This is open. I should have R2 pass, low ball. Would have got, got me a touchdown right there. Just those holes underneath those uh, yellow and purple. This is the outside zone and I'm uh, run play. Oh, here on fourth down. So the animation takes me into the end zone, and of course he quits. All right, guys, man, it's just what it is, man. I'm gonna call this video "Running on Rails." That's exactly what it is on offense and defense. Not really think, not really look at your opponent logically, but just coming out here and just running whatever you want to run without actually thinking about what your opponent's doing. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one, and probably till next week because I'm I'm gonna be out of town. I'll holla at you, dudes. 
Later. All right, then.